hey what's up guys before we start off this video allow me to thank you guys for supporting my channel austin code cipher so far so good and i appreciate that so i once again thanks for allowing me to come on your screens whether using a mobile or desktop i'm here on your screen so right now we are going to be creating some designing some table using bootstrap and bootstrap it's some online cdn but you can still download download its file like i did i'm using i downloaded it and i put it inside this folder so there is css but inside css i'm having bootstrap.min.css the reason why i'm not online it's because i'm lacking data but in case you are online you can go to bootstrap bootstrap.com and download their cdns and i'll show you how it looks like so this is the cdn you can easily copy it include it in your header in your head section right now for me i'm leaking it because it's on my pc so it's in a folder called css which is this but inside css i go to bootstrap so you have to put this forward slash to show that you are inside css and find that file the same price there is bootstrap.gss .js <laughs> gss <laughs> sorry so gs you have to also include it and to be secure for some extra functionality you have to include it to include jquery so you can include jquery like in this section below or up so any place you want to place it so to get some additional functionality on your web page now with those few remarks as i said this is the bootstrap.js in case you are using the online cdn and the, for the css it's that so that's all i wanted to show you right now i'm running it on my pc i'm offline now to make your stuff responsive or everything on your page you have to, to include them inside this class container so let me show you what it does by default it has some margin let me say austin oh have i saved yeah it has to leave some margin this side <laughs> so it was just on a smaller screen so it has to leave such margins on the side now that was just some brief introduction now let's get started with the table so to watch this video i think you already have some basic understanding on how you can create html tables i write table the tag of table you open closing and op opening and closing <coughs> then we are going to give some table headings table headings and we shall say first name so i'm going to copy this the last name and we are going to put max in case you are a developer for an institution and you are trying to lay out some table on your web page for the students max let's say that now i'm going to create some table rows use tr so this one is a table row we create some table data so the table data has to be corresponding with these two headings the first will be the first name and i will say casita timoth casita so cross it then for the last name we say td or lowercase td and i'm going to give this timothy so that's the table data for the second heading then you put the max and the max i'll put like 90 percent so we are you are going to be including many table rows and table data so I'm, allow me to copy this 
let me hope it's not it's not going to confuse you because it's going to be the same stuff only the names will be changing i'll call this austin austin now say code dot c code cipher and i'll put like 70 percent for that student then it's all about table rows you create many rows and i'll call this kabubi whoa close that ben bendict and i'll give him 100 percent so let's save this and this is what we are having first name last name the max so i guess you are getting some basic knowledge on how you can create tables so that's css only so now to introduce in our bootstrap for it to work on this table as you can see it's some sketchy stuff nothing on the page so to add some to add life to it it's like we add a class called table save this and as you can see simple bootstrap it simplifies your css you don't have to go and write some extra stuff in your web page so long as you include bootstrap this will happen as you can see now our table is good to go but to make things more designed or look cool we have to add other classes like i can add table dash striped and see what it does i using those stripes it has the dark some dark some light gray so such stuff i can also add borders sorry i can also add borders so it's all about adding classes like table oh say table dash bordered save this and you'll be seeing those borders so and for the case of bootstrap this thing will be responsive as you can see it's responsive are you seeing how it jumps like media queries in it are you seeing the way it responds to the screen size so if you're new to bootstrap you'll find this cool the next step is what if i want to put some hover state like when a person is navigating through this table we'll be seeing some action like over i will say table dash over save as you can see that effect so the reason why we are highlighting these these ones are already like highlighted and here we are like if you are writing css you say not with a class of like hover with hover those elements or items with not a class of like active let me not confuse you guys but that's it if you have understood that's it that pseudo class you write like hover not with a class of active so these ones which are lacking the class of active let me say those light gray light grays are the one with the class of active we shall be able to hover these ones with not having that the ones which are not having that class <laughs> let me hope i'm not confusing you guys you can add many classes to this there is table condest if you want to squeeze it table and you say condest condensed 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 is my sp correct condensed save that i don't know but that's it if you want it to be somehow squeezed i think it has done so 
let me first remove this glass and see how it behaves I guess but if you want it to be squeezed you have to use this glass table condensed so that's it guys for this video thanks for watching like the video share it on different social medias much more subscribe to the channel if you have learned something and i'll see in the next tutorial so some tip to make this look cool for the tutorial we are going to add some header here header and i'm going to put some h3 and i say students final year max <coughs> save this and this is what we are having so we can add some class to our header bootstrap classes and we shall say bg primary so it's going to give us some blue color as you can see now to add some padding you say p dash let me say i want a padding of four and as you can see it has done the magic then we say text white save that text is white so those are different classes you say text center when i want to center it text center and this is what we are having so thanks for watching guys subscribe to the channel if you have learned something and i will see you in the next tutorials peace subscribe bye bye, bye, bye.